Welcome back to the channel, guys. Ed from Kansas City. This is Axe coming with the large mobiles video again today. So in this video here, this is taken from uh, YouTuber Smooth F2P. Smooth free to play. And we've been talking about it so much. I was watching a few videos and came across this one. And yeah, you guessed it just by the title. These are 3T rally traps. Yeah, exactly. Not T2, T4, T5 rally traps. Just brilliant, nicely built T3 rally trap. Uh, and there's a lot that can be said about it, you know. But overall, when we watch the video here, we'll see that we he pretty much done a great job. So without any of that, let's get into the video, get this part over. Because I just wanted to show you the purpose of showing you this video and kind of putting it out there. Not only to help support, support his channel, but it kind of it supports the, uh, the belief that 3T do some good. That, you know, and, and there's been a debate about it. And I get what you guys have been saying. You know, they're heavy... You could build more T2 you, uh, as, as a, but I think the mental block I have with that are, you know, the simple fact that T, T, T3 are stronger than what a lot of people want them to be. And I think it's just the overall opinion of a lot of people that T3 are better. Well, for this rally trap right here and for this rally lead, it didn't really work out too good for the rally leads in this one. And, of course, I know a lot of, a lot of variables go into there. And the debate will continue, of course. Everybody is different, you know. So let's just watch the video and uh, let's check it out. And then we'll get into some more stuff on my account as well. Let's roll. Let me back up again. So I guess you can see it there. He's a pretty strong lead there. We've seen it already. <clears throat> Pretty strong lead there. We don't have to necessarily back up. Uh, <clears throat> so uh, I do want to kind of get to the meat of it. I don't really want to take too long uh, with the everything that leads to the rally. But I do really want you guys to kind of see, you know, the mechanics that go behind everything here. So let's uh, see if we can speed up a little bit here and there. 23 seconds left, and I think that's kind of like real time, too. <clears throat> and there we have the hit there. And I think he did show the troops, and I might have went a little too fast. So if I can back up a little bit, I will. There we go, right there. I'm going to back up one more time just so you guys can see it without having to personally yourselves uh, pause the video. So let me do it one more time here. And I think I, I think I did it a little too slow. And there we have it right there, guys. Actually, just, there we have it right there. As you can see, the army that's coming in. It is a very mixed army, <clears throat> slightly a little bit. It's, uh, he says it's a 4-2-4, uh, and that's about right uh, for that. But on the T5s, it's pretty much, uh, T5s are pretty much uh, uh, mixed. But uh, he does a great job of this. Now, the phalanxes, I think he struggled. If you ask me, in the phalanxes, I think he struggled uh, with defending on some of them. But nonetheless, even at the end of that, he still did a really great job at the end of it. Let's take a look at it. All purple gear. He really, he does have some, what appears to be some good familiars. I didn't really go and search all of them. I just looked at the video not too long ago and, uh, just thought it was exactly what I really needed because I don't really get to see too many of the uh, uh, T4. <clears throat> and there we have it right there. 
Let's go up a little more. And then let's get to that. So that's his uh, build right there. Some T3. Let's look at it more. He has some T2s as well. Those are what's going to absorb the hits. Now, if this account had only had T2, T4, T5, the, the, the outcome would have not been the same. Um, we would have not had the same outcome without that extra layer of not only shield with T3s, but also with the extra damage that they were doing. Uh, so, yeah, I'm of the opinion that T3 is are helping with this because he doesn't have a lot of T4. Under a million, just under a million of T3 each. And uh, not a whole lot of T2s. Under 10, under 10 um, million T2s. So in this particular account, uh, the T3s are really, really supporting the T2s with just a, uh, with out of the whole entire troops, um, he's looking at about, uh, I forgot the army size. I think it was about 44 million troops or 40 million troops somewhere in that, you know, that, that, that range. And, uh, and he has, out of that, only about 10%, less than 10% of the troops are T4, and only about, um, about 70% would be his, uh, yeah, about 70% of plush issues, you know, would be his, uh, T2s and then uh, coming in last is about uh, 20 plus percent or whatever of T3s is the next. So, uh, yeah, I thought he did a magnificent job on that one. Here goes the next one. I'll speed it up uh, so that we can get to it as it may take a little while to get to get the walk going. So I'll kind of speed that up for you guys a little bit here. Now, uh, one of the things I did notice and I really, I did message uh, tickle my toe up or I, I messaged, I put, I left a comment on it is now he changed uh, Phalanx. He changed the, the thing I noticed here and I'll just pause right quick. Some, some of the traps like we just see here, they, they, they're, they're more concerned with changing gear than they are phalanxes. And of course we noticed in this one, he, he changed gears real early. Uh, <clears throat> but I guess it really doesn't matter if the 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 rally is already set to say a um um range if the rally is already set to range and we did see that um he switched to he switched from a infantry uh wedge to a range phalanx uh, which I'm thinking if I'm correct, uh, from the last one that we saw, uh, he suffered most of his loss were infantry. Uh, yeah, infantry. So these are obviously calf marches. So for him to, uh, if he's in like he was at first time, I think we can go back and take a peek at that. If we would. Okay, in the first hit, 
We know that they were, it was, they said it was a 4-2-4. Um, and so infantry and cavalry heavy. Uh, and he is setting in an infantry wedge, which is your infantry out front. Uh, and then your um, uh, range and then cavalry. Uh, and they're in an infantry phalanx. So they're in an infantry phalanx with the uh, uh, range in the middle. Because that would be the infantry phalanx. So you got infantry. Then you have cavalry. Um, I didn't mean range. Then you have cavalry. Then you have the, the uh, range completely in the back. <coughs> uh, so, and they were sending. And they sent mostly infantry and Calvary 424. So uh, the weakest that they were was range, which they kept completely in the back because they went with a range failing, which is infantry, cavalry, and then range in the back. Uh, so, and they did send some range. And so in the infantry wedge, you got infantry there, you got uh, range in the middle, and then you have cavalry in the end. So the first thing that's going to meet with their infantry uh, is going to be is infantry on infantry. And then they have uh, and then they're going to have their uh, range meeting up with the enemy's um, cavalry. So not bad. Not bad at all, but in a mixed 424, it's definitely better to be in a wedge, as I'm learning. But I, I just think that what would have served him better at this point would have been a um uh probably a cavalry front or cavalry wedge, uh, where he has his cavalry out front. To meet the inf to meet the uh, infantry as well as the um, uh, cal uh, cavalry, and then with his uh, um, it would be the infantry next, and then the range in the back. So let's let's get it. Let's move it on. Well, what do you guys think so far? So as I was saying here, in the next rally, assuming they're still sending a mixed, and I think it was still a 4-2-4, uh, he switched from the, um, and we'll see in a minute what he what they actually send, but he switches from a the infantry phalanx to a range phalanx uh, with the range out front, uh, with the, uh, uh, yeah, the range out front, and then the uh, infantry and then the cavalry, which I'm thinking, yeah, I think he suffered less loss on this next one here. Uh, but I think that's a, it, I don't know if that's a good, if the, the best you can have. So let's go ahead and check it out. The other thing I said, as I was saying in there, is is switching gear and phalanxes so fast. Uh, I think you should really get you should really get an idea of what's coming. Uh, and as we see, there is they're heavy on cavalry off off the flip. So the best thing would be in a range front. Uh, so that's cool. He's in a range front. Uh, because they're heavy on cavalry, but they're also heavy on infantry. So maybe a um four two four or something like that. Yeah, four three five, something like that. But I think. With a lot of infantry like that, uh, 
and assuming that they're going to be in the uh, again in the infantry phalanx too. So let's see what happens here. We know they're heavy with calves, so you definitely want to have that range somewhere on their head. It was a good take. He did real good. We went back to that. Let's see the stats here. And there we have it right there. Uh, <clears throat> range phalanx versus infantry phalanx. So he, I think he basically countered himself, basically, right? Because you go from a, you, they're in an infantry phalanx and you go to a range phalanx and you basically are countering yourself, if, you, if I'm correct. Uh, so, and I, and I messaged the, I, re, I messaged smooth, uh, smooth, uh, free to play and I, I I said you know one of the thing is I think what's important is like as I've, I as I've taken a lot of rallies I'm more concerned with countering that's like the most important thing to me uh next to then gear then swapping my gear I'll always try to counter first before I swap my gear uh sometimes when you especially if I'm baiting because if you swap your gear first, first of all, they know you're online and they may cancel while you're swapping your gear. And he, this person swaps their gear real quick so they get a chance to see what they're wearing. Uh, and then I go to, to I, I swap my gear uh, second uh, because I want to see what's coming. And I, and I get it. Sometimes you may not be fast enough to swap your gear. You know, uh, as well as change phalanxes. So there we see the losses. Let's scroll back there. Let's kind of go back and look at that again. Go back again and look at that. We'll get it to act right somehow. So we can see it right there. Only thing that was affected, it was really a good defense, no matter what. He could have been in the best formation or phalanx. Uh, but he took very little losses. Uh, I don't know if that has to do anything with the attacker and, you know, what they were using. But my point of the video is to show that the T3 are obviously being effective, effective because if he just had T2s and with that minimum amount of T4s, uh, it would, it would, he would have not, he would have not done really great at all. So... I'm gonna, hit, I'm gonna let you guys see that one more time. I don't know what I just did there. Now, on the third one that we're going to see, uh, he did end up burning, and I believe it was mainly because of the the gear. I mean, not the gear, but the. Uh, it was mainly because of the, uh, like I said, that's, am I right, guys? That's an automatic counter there. You, if they're in infant, the counter is there. Infantry phalanx, range phalanx, that's a counter, you know? And I know it's based off what they see in, but it's almost a mixed sin. Uh, so, as you can see, the enemy has great, uh, really good familiars. So, nothing wrong there at all. Those are some good familiars, guys. You know, that's a hard hit. So it was really a great defense. So let's go to number three. Number three here. Uh, 
And assuming they're still doing the 424 or something like that, it's still going to be mixed. And remember that last one he did, he just took was really, I think, cab heavy, something like that. I'm not sure I can remember. Yeah, just that far. Did I press pause? No, this is taking forever because I got it going slow. Okay. I want to back up again because... I do want to back it up because I want to see the changing of gears that he does. <coughs> so let's. Just barely missed it. There. <coughs> Here we go. Let's take a look at what's coming. Uh, we see a whole lot of infantry, guys. A whole lot of infantry and some calves. Uh, so you definitely, really, more likely you want to be in a cavalry formation is what I thought automatically. Uh, so let's see what he does. He calls it a five, two, three. And <clears throat> when I noticed this here, he switched from what he was to an infantry phalanx. Am I tripping or is he tripping? When there's a lot of infantry coming, he wants to do infantry on infantry, but you're taking the rally. Why not put the calves on the infantry, on the cavalry? I mean, put the calves on their infantry. So I didn't understand why he would go from, an, from what he did. And I just don't understand why he went to a infantry phalanx rather than a... Uh, uh, to a cow, I don't understand why he didn't go to a cavalry instead of going to uh, what he went to, and so that that uh, that sucked right there. Now he ended up burning on that one, uh, and I don't think that they showed uh, the um, stats on there, but. Overall, a real good defense. Infantry failings versus infantry failings. That was like, to me, that was like, when I when I seen him switch, I just thought that was bad, you know. So, uh, uh, and he didn't get to show whether they cut into the T three or not uh, on that one because I don't think they showed anything. They just went right to the. Uh, Right to the next war. Well, I guess they did show. Let's see what they got here. So they didn't go into... He didn't show the, the hits on the T2s. He did show this here. He didn't show the T2s. So they still did not cut into his T3s. Uh, of however many he had. You know. And then we have... I'll do one more of the rallies that the other T3 uh, trap took. And we'll get to that. So this was the second rally on the second rally trap, T3 rally trap. So there he is switching up his, uh, I'm going to speed this up guys, he already got his speed up anyway. This is the, uh, another T3 rally trap. I'm going to speed this up guys. There's the boost. There's the war gear on this particular rally account. Still a billion might account, T3. And let's take a look. He's going from infantry phalanx to a range phalanx. Once again, they're switching their gear and their, this is during KVK, they're switching their gear as well as um, changing phalanx far ahead of time. Uh, and I, if I'm correct, they have plenty of travel time, you know, enough time that they're far, far away that they should be able to 
uh, check what's coming and then adjust the here it go there's the coalition there it's pretty much mix five four three something like that uh, yeah five four three so basically infantry heavy so he switched to I think a range or something doing the speed up he had a long way to go so he had all the time in the world to and there he's changing his he's changing his phalanx again after all the time in the world and he's going from infantry wedge to infantry phalanx when they're sending like what a five three two or whatever it was uh I'm, 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 I don't know, guys. I'm thinking that they don't know how to go into the proper phalanxes unless they just, they're rally traps and they're just far more advanced than I am. But uh, definitely not the, you know, when I see somebody coming, uh, let's, 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 let's take a look at it and see. <sighs> Thirty million troops, uh, a range wedge, and an infantry phalanx. Mm. Range infantry cavalry in the back versus. So you got range infantry. Infantry's coming out. And you got infantry, and then you got no. You got range cavalry coming out. So cavalry's going to pass the range. They're doing infantry phalanx. They're countering themselves. I mean, they're really countering, countering themselves. If he's in a range wedge, and that means that the um, the range is out front, the cavalry is right there on the side of him, so they're going to be out there first, and uh, and then the infantry in the back, where they're in an infantry phalanx, where their infantry is out front. Um, Their range is in the middle and the cavalry is in the back. No, infantry, infantry, phalanx is infantry, cavalry in the second, and then range in the back. So maybe they want their range in the back to do damage to the cavalry in the front, is the only explanation I can think of. Uh, so, all right, let's roll. And there's a troop composition there. Uh, so, and this one has far less T, uh, T5, T4, and no T5. So, that's pretty good, guys. That's pretty good. Uh, you guys tell me what y'all think about that. So, great job to uh, Tickle My Toe and whoever the other guy was taking the rallies. Uh uh, I didn't catch I didn't catch the name of that and, and shout out to uh, Snood uh, Free to Play for getting this video and posting that video and uh, and for subscribing. Thank you guys, my man. So uh, with that being said, let's see if we can uh, get back to the name on the second account here. All right. Let's get out of here. So with that being said, so I definitely found that very, very uh, impressive. Uh, there was some impressive work there. Uh, some trash. Very impressive work there. I was uh, impressed. How they got one plus one and it just came out like, does it, it doesn't come out every week, if I'm correct comes out like every 10 days I think 
I got it out now. Though. It ain't even been a week, you know. If I'm correct, that ain't even been a week. If I look at my, last time I purchased that one plus one. Maybe it's been maybe it's been longer than I thought. I don't know. Maybe it's been purchased longer. Than I, maybe, maybe it's been longer than I thought. I have no idea, man. But um, so that is that. I was impressed with it. Uh, and these are just billion mighty counts with about 30 to 40 million troops uh, <clears throat> out of the troops that we saw you guys saw it for yourself this guy had only what 5 to 6 million each T uh, 2 and about 3 to 4 million T3's and about 500k T uh T fours. So I hope I said that correct. Five to six million T twos, two to three to four million T threes, and about five hundred K T fours. So that was really good hitting there. That was really good. And it does show us, you know, you guys who don't like T threes, what do you accredit or attribute? Or what would you say that made that person's uh, defense so good? Are you going to say it's his countering? Or are you going to say it's his, uh, and I do need to get a training going for this skill fest. I still got a couple more to do on that one. Or are you going to say it's his, uh, uh, his countering? Or would you say it's his... Uh, What's going on here? I'm out of a. I'm out of a. I'm out of a. What am I doing in there? How did I get in there? I'm out of a. Training training boost. Wow, well, almost out of speeds too. But let's get some training going here. Uh, do 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 do. So let's get rolling here. So I'm really out of speeds, guys. That sucks. That sucks. It's going to foil my whole entire. What do we got here again? But as I was saying, <clears throat> that was some really good um, counter in there. Train surges and research. And I don't have any tombs for research, guys. I'm out of tombs. Tombs, too. Wouldn't you know? I use a. A few of them <clears throat> for KVK. So I got I got 126, but I don't have anything that takes 120 whatever to to do research with. I don't I don't have any research that I can do. This one has to be a nine or something. I have to do that. It doesn't even require. I have to have this to a nine or something, and that takes 200 or something. And I don't want to buy any tombs right now. So. Basically, I'm screwed in a little bit. So I'll figure that out. But like I said, I just uh, like I said, and I want to just let you guys know, I you guys know I'm still getting help with learning the game and I'm taking in a lot. You know, I haven't had a chance to really, really, you know, studiously and meticulously and, you know, scrutinize the information you guys have sent me. Uh but I think tomorrow I'm going to use that day uh, to kind of relax a little bit and uh, look at the reports and the information and the the uh, information and the um, um, cheat sheets and study guides that you guys have sent me. I'm going to go over that tomorrow and try to, you know, come to terms with a lot of it. Uh, and uh, but like the, like I said, so my per my point is saying is that uh <clears throat> I'm the last person that's going to claim to really know a lot about the game. Now, for you guys who who are really who who really the ones that say T1 and T3 are completely useless for the mere fact that they cost so much and that they they're slow and they um they they make the might drop look ridiculous when they're 
when they when they're destroyed, you know, T4 make the mic drop look crazy when it's destroyed. It weighs more than T4, T3, and it's way harder to build. My point, my only point, guys, when I say T3 are beneficial is that I believe that T3 are good supports to T2. Whether you have T4 or T5 or not, I believe T3, like in the videos we just watched, T3 were being very effective with T4 behind them, very minimum T4, very little T4 behind them. T3 were, were really the the strongest defense. It was a good combination with the T3 and the T4 withholding and blocking the rally. And it was good uh Things that the the the, the rally part the, uh, the the rally trap did as well, but this these are T three these are obviously some accounts and rally traps that believe T three are effective. So and I know it's 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 probably more experienced player who believe it's more experienced players who believe that T three are just to be ignored, and mainly like a lot of you guys are saying because they simply. They cost almost, as we said in the video, they don't cost twice as much. Let's let's take that out of there. And I do need to do this thing whether I use gems or not. So let me do something here. Uh, how much time is left? I do need to make sure I'm done with this before it ends. And I'll talk my way out of it. Okay, so I got that. Let's see if we can add some more. Uh, let's see if we can add some more training i don't like really using my artifacts for training boosts i re i can't really afford that so i'm probably not gonna do that i'm just probably got to do some gems for this guys and i don't really like spending uh i'm really not gonna spend that many gems on t4 because that is a lot of gems so i'll use uh i'll use some but then i'll just revert to uh, I'll just train T2s, put it like that. So let's just train some T2s and we'll leave it at that. I'm also getting low on food, but I'm not a, uh, come on now. I got to use gems. So yeah, let's do this first guys, cause it's playing with me. So let's make uh 130 something. That should be good. And I shouldn't have used food before the other ones, but it's all good. It's all good. It's all good, guys. And I need to use, I need to stack them for real because because I'm going to be switching over. It says I don't need wood, but I already, I already put some there. So I got enough to go forward because I hate to hit, I hate hitting the, it's unlocked, but I hate hitting the gym things and then you turn around and you're like, you done use 10,000 gems to train some troops because you didn't put the food and stuff. That's like, that's horrible, guys, when that happens. Oh, no salam elected? Oh, they playing games. What I run out of? Go with that quick. See, if I'd have had that lock, man, I would have been paying out the butt, man. That would hurt. I don't think I put enough there at all. 81 million, that's good enough. So let's roll. And I'll just, I think I'll just do this until, uh, until that gal guild fest is complete and i don't have much wood there although i'm looking good on the rest of them let me see something Boop. so now we're going to need that wood what am i got here going on there we go all right let's see there as long as you don't have this here locked you're good because if you have that locked and you get to push in that and and that 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 gliding uh, that gliding right here that doesn't get to pouring down, man. You're paying for that. It's like I've done that a lot of times. I've have done it also where I didn't have my. Uh, I've done it also where I didn't have my talent set properly for training troops, and it's just a disaster, man. Did I get that already? Did I do? I got enough already. I got my head. I got my thing. I got what I needed. So I got 40 something food. So what I'll do is I'll just uh, use it for some T4s, which this one using. 
So we'll say one, two, three, and that's it. And then we'll train some T2s. We needed to train infantry, right? Yeah. Cool. So we got we got it done. All good now. Uh so <clears throat> so that 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 I need one more and I'll, and I complete that one there. Yeah, I had missed another, a big one earlier yesterday. Terrible Friday for me. So uh <clears throat> with that being said, uh yeah, guys, got some tunes. I can do a research. Now I can do a research, right? Came a day short and a dollar or whatever late, you know? So I can probably do one research for 200, probably. 250. Let me see something here. I can probably do that one. Yeah, I can do one for 323 so I can get some research done on the next one. But like I said, I, I definitely, I don't, I, I never want to. I never want to come off as if uh, I'm ignoring anybody's comments or I'm acting like I know more than I do because you guys know I really don't know a lot. Uh, uh, but you got to keep in mind that I I have taken a little ton of rallies. I do have a lot of troops, but the T if the T three are not killing me, they're yeah they hurt far as me not being able to migrate. Uh, as easily as other players that are, you know, 1 billion might, 2 billion might, you know, etc. But, um, <clears throat> yeah, and that, that you know, that hurts. But also keep in mind that there are so many places that I can migrate to, you know, uh, uh, just not as easily. And those scrolls do cost, migration scrolls do cost a lot. So I get that. And that's just anybody. That could be the emperor accounts that used to be 14 and 8 billion and 30 billion and all that. You know, they all did it for years, you know. Uh, so the point I'm only making is that TF are useful for attacking. Uh, and they are definitely a, a an additional shield and uh, blanket and uh, wall. Definitely an addition to the T2s. So uh, I thought it was a great video. That's why I had to put it up there. And uh, with that being said, I want to uh, peace out. The Super Bowl is tomorrow. Today is Saturday. So uh, if you, some of you like you are a Raiders fan or, or 49ers fan, hey, have, you, have it, have it gone. I'm pretty much rolling with Chiefs. I'm not a Chiefs fan, guys, but I do always wish that they win. And I hope that they win tomorrow. So, uh, yeah. So, I thought that was a great video. And, mm, um, I'm out.